okay so now we'll start with this uh, uh, creating orders okay so first of all we'll just uh, create a new app uh, python manage.py start app and the name of this app it is orders all right so now it is created and as soon as we create the app uh, we should just go ahead and uh, tell this uh, settings right we have created one app again now let's say orders here okay and just close this and we have the orders uh, app, app created here right and we also have this models.py so in here we are going to make these three uh, models okay the first one is payment order and uh, order product okay so uh, what i'll do i'll just say class payment models dot model so inside this in inside this we'll be having all these fields right so these fields will be having user uh, payment id payment method amount paid status and created date uh, you know created it okay so we'll have to just uh, write it down here so what i did i already have this uh, um, a code okay i'll just copy and paste it here okay so now you can uh, you can just uh, see this one and write it in your in your model okay so this is uh, user account on delete uh, model says cascade and then this is payment id payment method amount paid uh, for the payment method for now we'll be having only uh, one payment method that is uh, uh, the uh, paypal okay and uh, uh, amount paid status and this one and this is the str method so now one uh, model is done and the next model it will be class order okay so this will also inherit models dot model again i have these fields right okay so these fields i have uh, so uh, we need to write it down okay uh, i already uh, written this code here okay i'll just copy and paste it just wanted to save some time okay so now this is the status okay in the status we'll be having new status accepted completed status cancel status okay so if you need some other more status then you can use that as well so this is the user of course will be uh, yeah you see uh, we are using account model then that means we need uh, uh, from accounts dot models import account okay so this is payment and uh, we have the payment already so this is the account number first name last name and phone number email address line one address line two country name okay state and city this is order note order total tax status ip address all right so this much we have and again we need the uh, uh, str function so i'll just uh, paste it here so now this is a uh, define str uh, uh, this is user dot first name all right so next the third model is this one order product okay in the order products we'll be having all these foreign keys one two three four five okay and this is color quantity all the stuff let's go ahead and do that as well class order product model stock model again i'll just copy and paste the uh, field names here okay so in this uh, we have uh, order uh, order foreign key and the payment foreign key user foreign key and product foreign key okay product and variation uh, we need so we need to just uh, bring these uh, you know import these uh, models from i think uh, 
think they are inside this store okay so let's say store dot models import import what product product comma variation all right so i think uh, uh, this is all okay and what i'll do i'll just go ahead and uh, uh, migrate these changes okay so i'll do migration now um python manage dot py make migrations make migrations all right now i can say migrate okay so now this is done the next step is to run the server run server yeah before we uh, you know before we do that we just have to register these uh, these three models here okay in the admin.py so what i'll do i'll just say from dot models import payment order order product now this is admin dot site dot register uh, order so now this is uh, payment and just say payment here order here and then order order product okay so now i'll just go to this uh, admin in the incognito window and say admin and login uh, now you can see orders okay add order you can see here okay so and then we have this uh, payment and then we have this order product okay so now this is actually set up so the next step is to uh, you know uh, when i click on this place order button it should store uh, these values inside the uh, you know inside the database okay where is it uh, here it is orders here it should store all these uh, information so when i click on this button okay so for that what we need to do we need to actually create a url pattern for this place order so we'll do that in the next one